and strangled. Australia's border force has been hit with a please explain for allegedly allowing a confessed gun runner to slip into the country unchecked. Despite an outstanding subpoena for the Filipino ship captain, he continued to work in Australian waters. A so-called death ship, one of the world's largest coal bolt carriers. Two Filipino crew members died on board in suspicious circumstances in Australian waters four years ago. A coronial inquest is still underway in Sydney. The ship's Filipino captain is a key witness. It's a well-known fact, and we have talked about it here, that the captain has admitted to gun running, if I remember rightly, uh, organised crime and bashings. Now, I would like to think that that would be a, a red flag. Captain Venuncio Salas's international whereabouts were unknown during the latest inquest hearing last month. He only appeared when the media, not the Department of Immigration and Border Protection, tracked him down, working back in Australia. There is a massive gaping hole here. Someone needs to be accountable. A Senate inquiry had some tough questions for the department. Was there an active knowledge? Yes, Senator, I'm not aware that we had a, an active knowledge that he was uh, uh, involved in court proceedings. The Senate inquiry is looking into the proposed wider use of foreign flagged ships and crews in Australian waters, a move the Department of Immigration and Border Protection in a submission to the inquiry says could be exploited by criminal gangs and terrorist groups. Here you've got all of what appears to be essentially some significant gaps in border security. But yet, on the other hand, the government's adopting a policy where they want to see more of these flag of convenience vessels plying the trade on the Australian coast. The committee hopes to get answers from the department in the next two weeks. Captain Salas denies any involvement in the deaths. The coroner's inquest into the Sage Sagittarius resumes later this month. Stefan Armbruster, SBS World News.